All right, this is how you install Composer on Windows 11, fast and easy. First, look up Composer in your preferred search engine, or go directly to getcomposer.org. Then on Composer's homepage, out of all options, click Download. Here if you choose, you can install it through command line, or get the installer by clicking the composersetup.exe link. Download it and save it. Then look it up where you saved it and launch the setup file. Here, make a choice whether you want it to be installed for all users or only you. Next, the setup offers you to install through developer mode, which means Composer will be installed without an uninstaller, and you'll have to remove it manually if needed. Unless you have specific needs, skip this and click next. Here you have to choose the PHP executable that Composer will use. Usually it auto detects it. Like in my case, it found XAMPP installed. If it's empty for you, then you need to install PHP or XAMP first. By the way, I have a video on how to install XAMPP. The link will be in the description below. Check it out. It's fast and easy. Then, once you make your selection, just click Next. Here it asks you to use a proxy to connect to internet. That's only needed if your computer uses a special connection at work or school. If you're on a normal home internet, just leave it empty and click Next. Here on the last step, review your chosen settings, and if everything is correct, click Install to start the installation process. Once that's done, pay attention to the important information that says you need to open a new command window for Composer to work properly. If it still doesn't work, close all files Explorer windows, or log out and log in again. As a last option, you might need to restart your computer. Then click Next and then Finish. Start a new terminal and type Composer in it and run it. Your terminal should look like this. If it does, then you are done with the installation. Composer is installed and ready. If you found this guide helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more straightforward tech tutorials. See you in the next video.